Oh, my heart. Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have. I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more! Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels... good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. Pass. Been another long day. Let's save the manhunt for tomorrow. Uh, I second that. Oh, how long's it been since I've slept in a proper bed? Well, I suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait, there's something I want to take care of first. You mean me? Carol. This is a guild thing. Best for us not to get involved. I've thought about it a lot. What we should do, like, as a guild. And I realized... We have to figure out a few things if we're gonna keep this guild going. It sounds like you've decided what we should do. Well... We said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes. So what I'm thinking is... We all have to receive punishment. What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... So you gotta be punished too. Now he's stretching it. The laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust us, then there's nothing you can do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a Blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. But you've got me interested, I'll give you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you're just full of surprises. I thought plenty about myself and what I should be doing. But I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. 
This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asparius. <laughs> Sounds alright with me. You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met. But... I suppose I can manage to put up with you. Alright then, one more time! Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. So, what about the punishment? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um... Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Carol, were you thinking by yourself this whole time about what to do with Judy? Yeah, it was pretty much all I thought about after we left Nordopolica. That... and about what you did to Rago and Kumor. Really? It's nice to hear you thought about me that much, even when I wasn't around. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first what was right, what was wrong. I think I have the Dawn to thank for setting me straight. Without the Dawn's last words, I never would have found answers to the questions I had. You gotta stand on your own two feet. Yeah, I was thinking about what that meant. And before I knew it, I wasn't thinking about what was right. I was thinking about what I want to do. And that helped you decide what to do with the guild. Yeah, so here's to fresh starts. Yeah. To fresh starts.
love dinner cooked outside over a campfire. Maybe it's the spice of the stars. The spice of the stars, huh? huh maybe so. <clears throat> nah, the food you get at an inn in town is way better. The pretty young lady says something nice and you gotta go kill the mood. <clears throat> Wait, no, but... Food is food, no matter where you eat it. It's all the same mush in your stomach anyway. And there's our little ray of sunshine to chime in with something even more insensitive. No, it's okay. You're right. Inns do have better food, and it doesn't matter where you eat. Oh, look, you made Estelle all pouty. Oh, no, I mean, I... you see... well, I guess... <sighs> Sorry. Tables is more fun than I thought it'd be. It is, isn't it? You can talk with all sorts of people and expand your perspective on the world, too. You all must be so smart. How come I'm the only one who gets yelled at for messing up orders? Oh, that must be because they like you so much. Yeah, haven't you ever heard that the greatest hate springs from the greatest love? What sort of crappy love is that? Forgetting Carol for the moment. Why don't you ever wait tables, Yuri? Huh? It's annoying. I don't want to do it. Sounds like you just don't know the meaning of fun, kid. You turned down a chance to make nice with a bunch of cute female customers? Who wants to get friendly with an old pervert anyway? <laughs> 